Hello everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you how to play Crusader Kings 2, the Game of Thrones mod version, because it's the only mod you should be playing on CK2, it's better than everything else. So you just hit single player, new game, you want to start anywhere you want really, but I like to start in the timeline where the books take place, or hit custom setup. So depending on what you want, you can go over here and hit a Clash of Kings. That's the timeline we're playing in. And it'll show you interesting characters to play. Each one has a cool little story. But I really like to play a Stannis Baratheon who plays in the Stormlands. There's uh, multiple kingdoms to choose from, but I like this place. So we're going to press play. You don't really have to mess with the rules or anything. You want to hit Iron Man mode, of course. But sometimes the game glitches out. It is an old game and this is a mod. Sometimes it's unstable. You might want to continue your story with some cheats. But we're going to hit Iron Man mode. I'm going to call it whatever. Test game status. Oops, spelled that wrong. There you go. So I'm just going to teach you how to set up and how to play. CK2 is a very simple game once you get the hang of it. And most of it's just muscle memory shouldn't take too long so yeah so so this is just showing you that you have a blood feud with a certain family that is down here the wiles or the wills I don't know how to pronounce it long time ago they killed your great 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 grandfather so you hate them changes by a hundred diplomacy that's negative diplomacy that's a blood feud with this guy, we don't care about him. So we're going to say whatever. You know, it's a Game of Thrones. It gives you hints and everything. Yes, yes. Okay. So these are the map modes. You could play as the terrain map mode, but it's hard to see the diplomatic lines. I like to press the realms map mode. Much easier. I know which I am, the Stormlands. I am Lord Paramount, but I should be king soon because I'm vying for my throne. So you have a bunch of notifications at the top. Vassal inheritance warning. You don't want to worry about that. It's too complicated right now. You want to go to pick an ambition. Each character has an ambition and this is my character. Ambition in the CK2 mod will be down here. But otherwise it would be up here in the main game. Click on it. Oh no, not this one. Sorry, this one. Click anywhere you want. I personally want to see our house rule the Iron Throne. Which is the main force in the kingdom that controls all the kingdoms i'm gonna click on it say okay all right that's that one finished you can press de jure ducal claims that's fine i don't really care right now i'm already pressing my kingdom claim pick a character focus you need a character focus you could find it down here or up here i think in the main game choose anything you want it'll help you with your stats and your stats are over here See, my character is bad with diplomacy. He has not, he doesn't have very great skills in speaking with people and rallying his lords other than his birthright. So I'm going to press carousing because that gives me diplomacy plus two. Hopefully that will boost me up to a seven and eight is best, but you know, we do what we can. Special actions. So I have prisoners I could free or ransom. I'm going to skip that one. And I'm just going to skip all those special title actions. You want to set your crown focus. This is where your king operates in which land. So this is the capital of the Stormlands. I own two territories, Storm's End or Dragonstone. Storm's End is my capital, so I'm going to click on it. I could either press here, make crown focus, or I could just click this one until I get Storm's End. I'm going to press here. It's very easy. Okay. So now I have my crown focus here should be very good and I have this is the most important one idle councils council members click on it and you'll see your council members each council member has a special skill that he contributes to the kingdom see this guy's supposed to be a spy master but his intrigue level is only eight so I'm gonna pick someone new see if I have anyone better oh I do I have Melisandre she has 25 but she's also a red priestess. I probably want her to work as a red priest. So I'm going to click here and switch her up. Okay. I'm going to tell her to preach. 
in Storm's End. Easy. I want to switch my Pie Master still. I'm going to pick this guy. He has 15. But he's deceitful. He might betray me. I want someone that likes me. Well, he does like me. It's whatever. So I'm going to click him. And I'm just going to let him work. Over here, he's not doing anything, as you can see. It's probably him who's being idle. So I'm going to click Oversee Realm. And that goes away. But I also want my Master at Arms, Sir Bonifer the Good. He has a formidable fighter. That's the highest skill. I want him to teach my all the children at my court how to fight. So in the future, when I play as them, they know how to fight. So I'm going to go to my council up here. Position. Tell him to train the children. This guy, the Lord Treasurer, I want him to collect taxes. So I can make the max amount of money. And uh, it's not supposed to be high priest. It's supposed to be the, the maester. I wanted to serve court and like teach the children the ways of diplomacy and all their stuff. I have special minor titles grantable. This is also found in the council tab, just minor titles. So a regent is when you die or you have a you're not old enough to rule your country, you have someone to take care of it. I usually click someone with a good stewardship skill. Axel Florent is good. He's pretty decent. I'll click him. I need bodyguards so that I don't die in battle and they can fight for me. I'm going to click sort by marshal so I get the best ones. This guy's pretty good. Godry. This guy is pretty good too. John. And Roland. So now I have all my bodyguards set. You could skip all this if you'd like. And you could choose commanders. But I like to just press assign auto. Auto assign commanders. I'm going to pick people for these so that they could like me more. You give person position, they like you more. This guy already likes me, so I'm going to sort by opinions. See, now it's the most people, the people who most like you. Now it's the people who least like you, these guys. So he's only 14 diplomacy. I'd like to like, I'll give him a position so he likes me more. So he doesn't rebel against me. I'm going to do it to this guy. When you see a, a border around his portrait, that means he has a powerful position. Like this guy does not. So you don't really care about his opinion. Sorry, that's just how it works. Your opinion does not matter unless you hold land. Davos. Davos is pretty cool. I'm going to give Bonifer. The cup bearer is someone you want to like you 100%. Because they give you your drinks. If someone doesn't like you and they give you your drinks. You could suspect it's poison. Court tutor. You want to give that to the smartest person. So you click on learning. And it's this guy, because he's um, the maester. Those are like the college-educated folk. Okay. Two children like a childhood focus. So Shireen is your character's daughter, or my character's daughter. And she needs a focus. We're going to tell her to learn diplomacy. She's not a very good character. I will actually need a son as fast as possible, so I can remove her from my heir. It's from being my heir. And this is... This crown tells you who your heir is. I'm also going to assign her someone who's very smart to teach her. So that if I don't find an heir faster than her, she won't cripple me completely. I'm going to give her to Davos. Because I told her to be educated in etiquette, which is diplomacy. So I'm going to assign her guardian as someone who's good in diplomacy. Davos. Send. And then the other kid is Edric Storm. He's not... He's from my bloodline but he's not my child personally but he's strong and I'd like him to be a military commander so I'm going to give him struggle I'm going to assign him a guardian of someone who's a good military commander 23 Ricard Richard Richard Horp amazing person so now I'm going to unpause the game and this is just don't worry about this battle they're your allies are going to combine with you once you unpause the game all right there you go. Now you get the character stuff. Oh, this this didn't happen in the books. This is actually not canon. The King of the Reach decides to support you instead of supporting the kingdom. So now I have more support in winning my war. Lord Paramount Stannis Baratheon. That's me. I see just cause in your struggle against your enemies. I will take up arms and stand beside you. Excellent. And over here is your main character story. I declare that my brother Robert left no trueborn issue of his body. That the real king is not the previous king's son. So he has no right to the throne, basically. I'm the rightful king, but they will deny me if they can. See, now we have a war. 
I'm gonna pause the game real quick. Oh, or not. So this guy says, your bodyguard, Sir Gaiard Morgan, has announced intention to seek the honor of a place on the Kingsguard. In Game of Thrones, there's a thing called the Kingsguard that you join, but you can't have any kids or a wife. So I'm going to give him my consent if I want him to, and then he gets the refusing marriage trait. I don't mind. He is a good Kingsguard. Okay. So here's my troops, but that's not enough. Personally, I don't think so. I'm going to go to the military tab. I'm going to press raise vassal levies. Now that just raised troops all over my country. Don't be overwhelmed. Just click all of them. And then right click your capital. See the enemy is doing the same thing. It's not very overwhelming. This guy's going to get screwed up but he's your ally since he's blue. Green troops are yours. We want these guys, they can't get over there because they're in the ocean. And we don't want this guy to cross into enemy territory. So we're going to click and hope to God that on their island they have boats. Oh look, they do. There's his fleet. His fleet. His fleet. And his fleet. So we're going to select the troops. And we're going to press this embark army button. And it puts them in the ships. See, now he's in the ship. Over here, we're going to do the same thing. These troops are from House Valerion. They're the seahorse. Embark. These troops are my troops, actually, from my previous land. Embark. And these troops are from House Celtigar, I believe. If I can right-click properly, I can. And I'm going to embark them. Now I'm going to select all these ships and send them to my capital so they could combine all the troops at Storm's End. Beautiful. Oh, I have another idle council member. Who is it this time? Everyone's working except my matriarch or whatever, the priestess. I'm going to tell her to proselytize here so she can spread the religion. I'm pausing. All my troops are heading to the capital. Now we just wait. Speed up the game. Slow it down. Pause it if you need to. Oh, there we go. So now the other guy, my other bodyguard, wanted no marriage. This one does want marriage. So it says... I will find him someone nice if you want to marry him to another person based on your decision. Or you don't want him to get married. Or you just say marry some random person. I don't really care. He married some random person. I don't give a shit. So all my troops showed up. I'm going to remove my fleets. I don't really need them. Make sure you don't remove them in the open sea that they're landed in the port like they are now. So that they don't just disappear and you can't raise them later. In the Game of Thrones world, there's a wall protecting from wildlings. Here's the wall. And they're under attack by wildlings, but I don't really want to walk all the way up there. So I'm just going to say they can handle it. They're asking for support. The king who cares, the king who doesn't care, I don't care. We're going to line up all the troops on the capital. Make sure you, if you put your mouse over the, your territory, it tells you how many troops are on the supply limit. I can't point at it because then my mouse, because then it disappears, but it says supply limit 72,000 on the right side of my screen, and that's how many troops you could have in that spot, which is a lot, but it's a capital, so of course. My Justiciar, the guy who deals with diplomacy in my court, decides I should learn another language. Sure, excellent idea. This guy wants to get married. I don't give a shit. Do whatever you want. He found of himself a person. Whatever. Decisions are available. Decisions you could do stuff. I'm going to skip. So now all my troops are going to the capital. What do you want now? During a visit to the court of this guy, he did some good work. Okay, thank you. Thank you. He, this guy has a good diplomacy skill. So he makes everyone who he visits like me more. He's my justiciar, of course. I don't really know what that word means. I assume you're a diplomat. Okay. You want to get married too? Do whatever the fuck you want. Stop distracting me. Scoop water sound. Oh, he got... Oh, he's captured. Oh, oh, I captured him. What the hell? He wants, he wants me to defend him after he... He went to war with me? Is that how it is? Is he fighting for me? He's not fighting for me. He can cope. Oh no, that makes everyone hate me. See that? I don't want that. I'm gonna say it's my duty, whatever. I'll fight in this war. Sheesh. 
Okay. All right, all your lords have now met up at the capital. They're ready for your, bro. Yeah. Oh, he's he's gonna join me. Where is he from? Oh, he's from the Reach. Beautiful. Come join me. Join me in my struggle. I'm gonna combine all my troops. Select all of them. Top left. Merge selected units. Now here's the here's the hard part. I have forty one thousand troops. Not every territory could sustain that supply limit. Over here, if you look at the right side where the pop up is. It says the supply limit is 14k. That's horrible. What we're going to do is we're going to follow the King's Road. The King's Road, you as you can see it, it's a line from the capital to all the other capitals. So on the King's Road, the supply limit's high, but not as good. So I'm going to split my army in half. I'm going to select the second half, and I'm going to give them generals because they don't get generals immediately. Okay, now I'm going to send one guy at a time so they don't eat each other's food supplies. So you click here, you hold shift, you click elsewhere, make them follow the capital. Oh man, here's the enemy army. 22,000 troops, I have more than that. But sadly, they're attacking this guy who's my ally and he's going to die. I don't think I can reach him in time. And even if I do, will I be able to help him? Hmm, I don't think so. Oh. Education focus, martial education, of course. I need that kid to be a soldier. Okay, now this guy's moving. I'm going to send this guy after him. Oh, this guy lost the battle. Okay, hopefully I can catch that 22,000 and destroy them immediately. They're currently hiding underneath this guy's army. I don't know why they don't show the bigger army. What do you want? Why is everyone asking me to get married? I'm not your priest. Go find yourself a spouse. Okay, we're going to keep following the King's Road. Oh, he's running away. He saw my army. Maybe my game is going too fast. So this kid is my ward. So in Game of... In, uh, sorry. In CK2, Crusader Kings, you could have people you teach. People send you their kids so you could teach them if you have a high skill. And the Lord of Fari gave me his kid so I could teach him. I gave him a good martial ability, so I'm doing my work. And it gives you decisions on how to teach that kid. So I want to teach that kid to be temperate. I click on it. Oh, it gave me a chance to give him temperate, but it didn't work. This is just an event from the game, the mod. Just skip it. Okay, now we're going to go siege at the capital. Shouldn't take too long. Ooh, I see the Lannister army. Oh, now they're getting stronger. They're now 40,000. That's fine, we can still hold them. We have the river. We'll siege the capital and take him. See, now when you see this, this is you sieging. If you click on the province, you can see it. Attackers, 27,000. Defenders, 53,000. Let me get over this. The smallest spiders make my, bri my ward, Brian, squeal and run for cover. I'm going to teach him about bravery. Hopefully he gets it. And he lost, he didn't get bravery, but he lost his scaredy cat trait, Craven. So that's still good. This guy thinks that he's a better commander. He has 16 marshal than Gaillard Morrigan. Gaillard has 12, which is correct. So I'm going to say, sir, you make a good point. And then Gaillard will hate me since I replaced him. But this guy will like me more, and he is also a lord, while Gaillard isn't. So I'm going to say, sir, you make a good point, and replace them. I'm going to play on a, a faster speed, just so this siege can go faster, but I'm going to be hit with a lot of pop-ups. The game pauses automatically for me, so it should be okay. So this guy is my ward. He grew up, so now I can see his face. And he's being very trusting, I think that's a good thing. I'm going to say, okay, that's a good thing. And he'll not trust me. And this guy wants to marry someone. Apparently, I'm the marriage maker. Everyone asks me to make them a marriage. I'm just going to say, whatever, marry as you please. One of those pop-ups that you just, they're going to keep hitting you with, you know. So there's Siege. This is their morale. So once this defender's morale hits zero, I take this Red Keep castle. And then, that doesn't mean I took the whole territory. It means I move on to the next castle in that territory. So, again, marry as you please. Stop fucking bothering me, man. 
All right. Oh, there we, another person. Screw off. Thank you. Okay. Oh, this guy literally in my own kingdom. See, if he's a lord, he makes his own decisions. Decided to betray me. Lord Selwyn the fourth, the Evan Star of Tarth, betrayed me. And now I have to go destroy him too. But I can't destroy him because I'm focusing on the capital. So he's just going to... Actually... Oh, thank you, Maester. So this Maester just helped me. He brought my morale of armies up 10%. So I'm going to attack this guy, actually, because screw him. Who the hell does he think he is betraying me? I'm your lord. There you go. Destroyed. I don't know what he was thinking. He just lost his whole army. I'm going back. Oh, man. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm going to check my... Marry as you please. God damn it, motherfucker. Okay. Oh, I am in debt. So yeah, this game is a little difficult. So I'm going to go to my Intrigue tab and ask for a loan. Ah, oh, whichever gives me the most money at a low interest rate. Oh boy, okay. It's going to have to be just one of these. The Bank of Karth. Sure. I'm going to lose that pretty fast, aren't I? Give them gold. I don't have gold to give. So my lords, they... They say I'm taking their armies and that uh, they're not getting paid well. So I'm just going to lower their taxes instead of giving them gold. Because I don't have 270. And I really don't want them to hate me by 10. So I'm going to say, sure, tax concessions. This is my... Just a random lord in my kingdom. What is he saying? Okay, whatever. I don't really care. I'm in the middle of a war for the kingdom. Dude, stop asking me for marriages. Just do whatever you want. God damn. Okay. Oh, and this guy got captured. One of my lords from this place lost in a battle and got captured by this guy. Lord Randor, Randall Tarley is actually a pretty good commander. He's better than me. He's 30 marshal. But he's a lower board, so I have a bigger army than him. Hopefully that'll help me win. Okay, so I'm almost seized the Red Keep, which is the main castle in the capital. And we took it. They uncovered a interesting relic. So what's the relic? It's a history book. Nice. I, I, that'll help me so much. So I did capture some people. I'm going to say whatever, you know, stay where you are. They're trying to get out of prison. Oh, here's Lord Randall Tarley. There he is. I'm just going to go destroy him real quick. Hopefully I don't get caught in the capital without my second army. And the black, the, the castle black is being seized again, but this time not by wildlings, but by the white walkers, which are like a zombie force. Fantastical force. I don't know. Uh, not my problem. I'm not going all the way up there. They could wait till I'm king. This guy gets destroyed. Okay. And this guy's in prison. I'll release him. He's just a priest. He's a good priest too. I'll just release him. He could give me a favor. I don't mind. And this guy's joining my struggle. Where are you from? Oh, the Reach. Beautiful. Join me. My claim to the throne is better than everyone else's. This guy also joined my struggle. A lot of just pop-ups. Oh, and the Lord Commander of the Wall died, so now there's a new one. Sadly, it wasn't Jon Snow. Jon Snow may be dead. Let's go find out. It should have been Jon Snow. Oh. What? Where's Jon Snow? It's not letting me look at him. I think he, I think he may be dead. Or the game glitched. Either way, I don't mind. It's not my story. This guy got captured. Not my problem. Oh, man. I can't decrease taxes for the cities. Or at least the... I'm taxing the churches, apparently. And I can give them 40 gold. So I'll do it. I don't want them to hate me, either. Even though they're not as powerful, I could afford to make them hate me. So now we took this main castle a second ago. And then we took this one just now. There's a couple more to go. Uh, nobody's in a... F oh, that's a... That is a massive faction trying to remove me from power. 
How do you have a claim on my kingdom? Oh, man. Are you in one of the factions, Lord Casper of Rainhouse? Let's find out. Yup, he is. So this, my spy master says we could do something to make him leave the faction. But the only option I get is ask politely. So I'm going to do it. Hopefully he, hopefully he'll listen to me. Okay, this, my, my ward, I'm going to try to give him diligent. That's very good. And he got it. Perfect. And Lord Casper of Rainhouse did not listen to me. And now he hates me more since I asked him to. Hey man, if you want to rebel against me, that's fine. I'll just destroy you too. For my claim is the best claim. And my ward became an incompetent commander. I guess I am not a good teacher. Doesn't matter, not my brother. Oh wow. It's all going to shit, isn't it? Another guy invades for his claim to the throne. Lord Aegon of Aegon's host. Targaryen. Long live the true king or Aegon is a dead. Aegon is dead. He is a mummer's dragon. Well, these don't really do anything, so I could just click which one. But I think he's... I'm going to click the roleplay option of my throne, my rights. Okay, let's destroy some bastards in my kingdom. Just kill them all. I don't want them in my kingdom. How did you siege that? Oh, God. What do you want, bro? Here, just get out of prison. Give me a favor later. And I learned how to speak the other language. Now I get diplomacy one, learning one. Easy. Let me remove the red ones. Oh, and I have the reach army. Okay, a lot of pop-ups. Oh, she's a cynic. She's cynical, and it's pissing off my character. See, now my she doesn't like me because I my character snapped at her. I couldn't control that. So we seized the King's Gate. That's another thing here. So now we got to get City of King's Landing. Cities don't have walls. So now you could press the Attempt Assault button. In 15 days and you take less casualties than in like assaulting a wall or a fort the battle of galemont that was just here we kicked them out now i just have to siege this area since they took it recently as you can see they they occupy this castle they only have 53 guys they didn't fully man it so i think 11,000 guys could scale a wall and defeat 53 so i'm going to say attempt assault once i pause the game they should kill them immediately took it I'm going to send my boys back up north so they could just back up my capital siege. Okay, and this is my heir. I still need to replace her, but she apparently wasn't very good at diplomacy, sadly. She's better at money making and rulership, stewardship basically. I'm going to select it because also she has a, a little trait that gives that a bonus. Sure, in the Game of Thrones mod you get to choose how much money you want to invest into them. I don't have money to give. I'm at war. Plus, like, she's not very smart anyway. I should invest a lot in her. But, like, I'm at war. We'll give her the medium amount of cash. I am. Um, thank you for joining my cause, Lord Par or Lord Robert of Manderford, whatever. Just please help me send money. Oh, God. I'm not. Oh, Marius, you. Dude, stop asking me about marriages. I wish there was a button that said, just like, stop notifying me about marriages. Okay, I'm going to siege the, cast the city because you don't take many casualties. It's a city. <sighs> okay, the next... Don't don't worry about this. Come down here. The next place is... Accept. Accept is a church. I think I could take that one too. 357 defenders. I have 27,000. Attempt assault. We're going to wait till the game pauses for that to officially work. Okay, so this priest guy declared a revolt against me because I am not of his religion, I guess. My character, your religions are over here. My character follows the fiery heart, the Relor, while this guy follows the faith of the seven. Sure, rebel against me, I'll just come destroy you. Yep, faith of the seven rebels have risen in the broad arc, led by a militant septon. A lot of my lords follow the other religion. This is part of the lore. And that's why they don't like me and are in a faction to remove me. That's fine. I'll destroy them later. I'm going to destroy this guy now though. So he can move here. That's a 12k army. They could move this here. That's a supply limit of 17k. I could move here, here, and then destroy these guys. That should be good. Over here we're sieging the sept. Oh, we did take it. Okay, good. See, now we're sieging a castle. I have a big army. I could take it in an assault. 
but watch your army. Make sure that's way bigger before you attempt an assault on a castle. I'm going to press it. Hopefully, I don't take too many casualties. And I lost 4,000 people taking that. That was not worth it. Just like, I look at my morale now. But it doesn't... Oh, and I lost? Oh, no, it's still going. Okay, I have to get rid of this. Another person needs my help. Sure. And we did take it. We lost 4,000 guys, but whatever. The next place is a city. No walls. Take that. Oh, the Lord of Hightower joined me. That's a big chunk of the reach. That's good support. 8,000 men. Come support me. I'm about to win. Oh, here's the Western army. The Western main army. That's not good. I'm going to say excellent. Come help me. Okay. So now I've sieged the whole capital. Which is good. But if we go down here to see the main war... I've only done 49% war goal or war score. So I need to take more land and do more battles to get this up to 100% where I could offer peace and enforce my demands. But right now they'll say no because I'm not at 100. Another person joined my battle. Okay, we're going to go try to catch this army. Please pause the game. Thank you. They're right here. They're going to the far and cross. I literally raised this guy's kid and he hasn't joined the war to help me. Can you believe this? Bitches be deviant. We're gonna attack them. So I'm gonna send my troops here, down here. Combat will start in this province. That is if they continue going here. But they might not because my troops are going there and they're bigger. So let's find out. I'm gonna unpause the game. See, they immediately stopped. So uh, before this turns red and I can't tell these guys to stop, I'm going to tell them to stop. And now I'm going to tell them to attack here. If I don't catch this 18,000, I'll catch this 5,000. Or I'll catch both, depending on how fast they can get out of there. And this guy will come in and support me if I lose. Oh, I caught... Oh, no. My morale is lower than theirs. I think I might have crossed the river. I don't think so, though. Oh, this is bad. So if you click on the battle, you can see it closely. The top guys are me. We're attackers. My 22 battles. Ooh, that's not good. One of my guys got captured in battle. One of my commanders. This guy's going to have to come in for the clutch. Let's see if he can make it in time. Oh. Oh, my guys are holding out. Oh, no. They got support from somewhere. Dude, I have no time for your winter. Oh. Okay, no. That's the call just sending messages out that the winter is coming. That's fine. Dude, last time I asked someone to start to leave a faction, they got pissed at me. So let's try it again. This guy like this guy likes me a little less. Ooh, commander duel. So in this battle, I caught Sir Braun in battle, and he's trying to retreat, but I caught him, so now I can fight him. You were separated from your men in the chaos of battle, and now find yourself in the midst of a war. As you scan the field and try to rejoin your forces, you see Sir Braun break through the enemy ranks and charge at you. You get three options. You could fight him. You can try to run out of there because you're a pussy. But then you have a chance of getting the scaredy cat trait, Craven. Or you could have one of your bodyguards fight him. Let's find out. Let's see. Maybe I'm good. So I have a personal combat skill of 85. It's very good. He has a personal combat skill of 80. That's less than mine. But he's also a duelist. And he's a skilled fighter. Well, I am not a duelist. And I only have Train Fighter. I could risk ending my whole game in this one battle for one piece of glory. Even though I'm winning the battle, I don't need it. Or I could just have my guy who's 100 personal combat skill fight him. And he's also strong, so I'm going to do that one. And he won. He made him run. Nice. Oh, no, just seeing him made him run. That's crazy because this guy's so strong. All he did was have to look at him. Isn't that fucking amazing? And I won. Okay, calm down, game. What do you want? Oh, the guy that I asked politely didn't agree. Wow, shocking. I won a battle. My war score went up 10%. That's really good. So we're going to siege the Bram Fort. Really good. And I'm going to have this guy, instead of eating all the supply here, siege the Hayford. Maybe we could get some more war score. Uh, oh, I get one diplomacy. Beautiful. My character, since he's focusing on carousing, 
he has like little events that give him better diplomacy. So now I'm going to go from an 8 to a 9. And a 9 is really good. This guy's joining my battle, finally. This guy's part of my kingdom. I'm not sure why he wasn't in my battle. He has a cool flag, though. This guy's joining my battle. He's not in my kingdom. But he understands my righteous cause, I guess. What the hell? This guy's going to the capital. I should probably catch him before he does anything. Oh, he... Oh, my allies got him. It's okay. Ooh. House Dane, all the way in the south, coming to support me. Thank you, thank you. Battle of the Dragon Gate. How beautiful. Yeah. Alright, we're at 62%. We just gotta keep getting those battles won and more sieges. Thank you for joining me. This guy's literally a tiny island. I don't really care, but, you know, I do care as a king. They should know that. Wink, wink. I don't really care. I'm already winning. Oh, here he is. Here he is. I caught them. I caught them. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust in these guys that they could win that battle. Oh. The wall has fallen to the White Walkers. Oh boy. Ah, they can handle it. I'm still dealing with my enemies down south. It's not like this threat will grow and grow exponentially until I can't deal with it and then when they reach me, you know? It's not gonna happen. And we're winning the battle. We're winning the battle. Oh, they got support. Just 800. Woo. Nice. And we won, I believe. I'm skipping these too fast. You should probably read them. This guy's just in prison. I don't care, dude. You could get out. And we won the battle. How beautiful. And now my war score is 81. We're getting ever so closer. My 17k troops are in a place where only the supply limit is only 11k. They're going to die. I'm going to send them back here where the supply limit is 33k. I'm going to unpause the game so they can go. Oh, they got caught. And we destroyed yet another army. Devin Seaworth, the son of my Justiciar, is very smart. I'll train your kid. Yeah, he's got good traits. He's a very kind soul, I guess. This guy's joining my cause even though he's in a prison. And he's a lunatic. That's not very good look from my side. It's really not a very... 16,000 men army from the Vale? Where did they come from? <gasps> I think we could win this. My man Richard is leading it and he has 25 combat skill or martial skill. But if he doesn't win, I don't really want to send my army there sieging. Come on. We... Oh, okay. Thank you. Come on, guys. You can win. Ah, yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Easy victory. Now I have a 100 war score. What do you want? Don't, don't inform me of such things, please. I get too many pop-ups already. A hundred war score, bunch of battles, offer peace, force demands, now he accepts. And now I win. What is this? Oh yeah, join my war, it's over. So now the false king is in prison. Yep, I take all his titles. The trident guy. Whatever. Yeah, I took his titles. The war is over. I seize all his treasury. Yup, yup, yup. And I finished my ambition, so now I have to choose a new one. I think I'm gonna do. Well, my my only child is a, is not very bright, so I'm gonna try to have a son. Hopefully, thank God, I need one. A better heir. Yep, I just said that. Oh, okay. So the Pope, basically, in this world, I don't really care about him. Except for the fact that I follow a, a, another religion. I'll just let him live. Let's let him, let's leave him be. This guy's part of the King's Guard, which will be mine now. We'll leave him be. He sounds like a kind fellow. This guy as well, part of the King's Guard. Very nice. This guy, though, he's a bit rude. He's, oh, it's not very good traits, but he's not, he doesn't hate me. Boros the Belly. What the, what kind of nickname is that, dude? Do I even want... You're drunk? Oh hell no. He's not fit to serve in the King's Guard. And no longer is he a King's Guard. This guy's pretty good even though he's deceitful. Let's leave him be. Gendry. Surprisingly. And the, surprisingly he made it to the King's Guard. Let's leave him be. Sandor the Hound is also a drunk. So we're gonna... He's not fit to serve. 
This is Randall Tarley, who I destroyed. Leave him be. I, I like Randall Tarley. He's got a good military skill. Appleton, sure. I don't really care about you guys. Prince Doran. Joined the war against me? Come on, man. Leave him be. This is the false king, Joffrey. Hmm. I want all their heads on some pikes. Tyranny and fear by 40. I don't want tyranny because tyranny makes them hate me. So I'll judge them justly. And once that puts... Once those options come up for me. So far now we're just dealing with the lords. Oh, this guy. Yeah, he betrayed me last time. We'll leave him be. We'll leave him be. Tywin. I don't like Tywin, but we'll leave him be. He's too powerful. Leave him be. This kid in the veil. I destroyed your army last to win this war. You know that. I hope. Yeah, you went from 14k to 3k. Suck on that. Leave be, leave be. I'm not an evil king. Okay. She's the one who created this whole mess. But if I kill her, my tyranny changes by 10. We're going to keep her in prison. I don't want tyranny. Yeah, unrest through the realm. Oof. My rule must stabilize. I need a, a new lord commander. I'll give it to Oakheart. I don't really mind. I don't really care. A new grand maester. I need to, I removed two king's guards, so I need two new ones. I'm gonna give it to Faring. I actually really like them. And he accepted. He's one of my own guys. Marcella will keep as a hostage. Tyrion, we probably wanna kill him. Oh, Tyranny by ten. I'm gonna throw him in a dungeon. Joffrey the false king. I can't execute. Yeah, so let's do it. Let's burn him because my lord likes fires and I get I get points for that. Beautiful. It's all about the game. Sir Lancel Lannister. Dude, I don't care about you. Put him in the dungeon. Tommen will take him as a hostage. And just like that, we won the war. But the fight for the realm is not over. John Flowers could sure join my King's Guard. There we go. We wait for the game a bit. Uh-huh. Sure. And I think I'm going to pause there. I succeeded and if I go on any further it will only be confusing I think that's it thank you